I'll be showing you step by step how to add a terms and condition checkbox to your Shopify store. We'll be using a completely free app here and I'll be showing you everything on how to set it up step by step. The app we'll be using in this video is called our terms and conditions checkbox, making it super easy to add this to the card page or drawer page. So customers have to check this off before heading to the checkout process. It has a really good 4.9 star rating. And so I'll leave a link for this in the description below. But once you're on this Shopify, Shopify app page, just click the install button. This starts the installation sequence. And if you're comfortable with these permissions, let's click install. This brings up to the setup of the app here. So first we have to enable this in the app embed section of our Shopify theme. So it should prompt you this at the top here. So I'll click this. This is going to open up my Shopify theme editor under the app embed section. If you just open up the Shopify theme editor, you could also hover on the left hand side, getting to app embeds and then searching for terms and conditions. That link did automatically check it off here and enable it. So I'll hit save in the top right to finalize those changes. If I head back to the previous tab here, I'm just going to reload the page. You can see the install app section has now been checked. And now we can go and edit and customize the checkbox message, as well as the alert message that's going to pop up if the customer hasn't checked it off. You can just add this as a test, although you can customize this matches exactly to what you want. But I'll leave it here just so you can see our changes were saved. One thing to note is that you actually want to customize this link here. So if we hover over it, we can click the insert link and then set this to the actual terms and condition link of our Shopify store. As for the alert message, I'll change this to you need to first agree to the terms and conditions. So I'll hit save in the top there. Let's go and preview this now in my Shopify store. On the left hand side menu, under sales channel, online store. If I hover over it, I can see an eye icon. So I'll click that, head to a random product on my store, click add to cart to load the cart page. And there I can see it, I accept the terms and conditions. And it's something I have to check off before I can go to the checkout process. As if I try to check out directly, I'm gonna get an alert here saying you first need to agree to the terms and conditions. But if I check this off, click checkout again, it's going to redirect me to the checkout page. So just like that, I've set up a terms and conditions box for my Shopify store. And it's something a potential customer has to check off before they proceed through the checkout process. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. And that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is just select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including everything from your ad spend to your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, and much more. It's going to give you tons of different details, analytics, and metrics so you can make smarter business decisions. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can access the Shopify app listing. You can also search for it in the Shopify app store, searching for profit calc, and then looking for this logo in the top left. Again, there's a 15 day free trial, so make sure you check that out. So this concludes the video here. If this helped at all, I would love it so much if you could smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.